Oh, Sarah, you. Not better? And not the handbag, is that okay? <laughs> Look, we're six months on the council, and since the day we came on to the Security Council, we've called to have an open discussion on a really worrying situation on the ground in Tigray. Six discussions behind closed doors, so today is the first time we get to sit around the table and really look in the public forum at what's happening on the ground. So we're deeply concerned. I think it's already progress that we get to have that discussion, that the people of Tigray, the people of Ethiopia know that we're concerned, and that it's an opportunity also to hear again in public uh, from the Ethiopian government as well what's happening on the ground. We know the situation has gotten worse each time I've passed by here, and each time we've seen a deterioration. Now what we want to see is an end, a cessation to all hostilities. We certainly want to see unfettered humanitarian access. That sounds like a byline I've used every time. We need access to people who are now, as we realize in a situation, even with a declared ceasefire, they are, it would appear, behind uh, a situation where access lines are closed where there are people, there's a looming famine, and there's, as we know, human rights abuse that has happened on the ground. We want to see uh, an end to all of this, to see that humanitarian worker attack stop, and also then to see a political dialogue, a national dialogue amongst the parties to see progress. Ambassador, do you hope that if it's needed, this will create momentum for possible council action? Well, look, I certainly hope today will be a step forward. It will be seen as that, that we will get to put the issues on the table. And in our view, everyone today will want to see a cessation to hostilities. We, will, we have all seen the evidence. I think it's irrefutable now that there's a deep and worrying humanitarian crisis. It's natural that the Council takes account of that. And of course, what we do is, the, as guardians of international peace and security, is look for solutions. So looking for a dialogue at a national level, you know, looking at the, the territorial integrity of Ethiopia itself, which we know is extremely important, and putting an end to the suffering of ordinary people on the ground. We're really worried. Women, uh, we know, have been subjected to sexual violence. We will see a report on that. But we're deeply worried people are starving to death as we're in that room. We want to see the council assume its responsibility.